Despite raging wars and global upheaval, trans activists still manage to find something to have a meltdown about. Sky News All-Stars Rita Panahi, Liz Stora and Piers Morgan expose the epidemic of angry trans activists. Average workers are being called out publicly by trans people for making honest mistakes when assuming someone's gender, reveals Sky News All-Star Rita Panahi. Let's start with minimum wage workers being shamed and complained about by this self-indulgent narcissist who is always ready to find his inner Karen. It looks like uh, he's having a uh, nice feast. She, all she, she, her. Okay. Yeah, it's okay, it's all good. But it was not all good. Hi. I use she, her pronouns. I'm not sir. Oh. Yeah, like, it, it, it's like a knife in the heart. I also, I did specifically ask ahead of time not to be called sir. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Okay, the sweet water starts at, okay. Yes, not, I mean, I'm, not, I'm so sorry, I apologize. It's just always like a knife. It always hurts, every single time. I was wondering if there's a manager I could talk to about something that happened. Yeah, I, I was called sir. <sighs> Self-obsessed, attention-seeking, cry bullies. It's a thing, cry bullies. They're the types who simultaneously play the victim, but are really the bullies themselves. Did you call me sir? I, I just want to tell you that the person who gave me this called me sir. What? Called me sir. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's more. There's more. I'm not a sir. <sighs> Nothing like a good misgendering. Yeah. I'm not, sir. Not, sir. Not, sir. But the guy who dropped the, the, the food off, he called me, sir, twice in a row. I do like the little hat on the dog. That's a nice touch. But uh, Sky News contributor Sophie Ellsworth also says the real victims are the wait staff who are having their manager called for innocent mistakes. We but don't. This is just crazy. This, but this it, but it had a very has deliberately set this up so it gets the reaction. I mean, seriously, these poor waitresses and waiters yeah. have to deal with this nonsense. It, it is so self-indulgent. You look at the problems around the world and, and to be playing victim over that. Rita Panahi also hilariously mocked another trans activist who had a literal meltdown after being misgendered. To Austin, Texas, which may as well be in, in California these days. Have a look at this. And things took a nasty turn when one of the dancing, chanting protesters was apparently misgendered. Here the protester claims she's a man and points to her pronoun badge. It's proof. Again, charming stuff. And on top of misgendered meltdowns, this trans activist flipped out when asked what transgender actually means, reveals Rita Panahi. Now let's go to another clip featuring our friend Billboard Chris, who is asked here to explain what trans is by a trans person who then flips out because the question he asked is being answered. I don't know, I've never He's asking you. get an answer to that question. I'm asking you. Well, you just claimed you're trans. I am trans. And I'm asking you what that means. What does it mean to you? Well, I would tell you that transition is something don't you do. Don't tell me Wait, you don't tell anybody Okay, well, you asked what just, it means. You, just ask, you literally just asked so, us to tell you what it means. <laughs> you can't win with these people now. Sky News All-Star Piers Morgan had a meltdown of his own when he revealed the new CEO of an endometriosis charity is a trans woman. Why? Why have a trans CEO? Why have a biological male? 
for something, for a charity which literally only, only applies to women, okay. with a condition only women get. Okay, so let me answer that question. And transgender athletes competing in women's sport has always caused heated debate amongst competitors. Rita Panahi spoke to an MMA fighter who copped backlash for simply speaking out. You faced a bit of a backlash for simply talking about your experience and concerns. Uh, tell me about some of the uh, vitriol you've copped over this issue. Yeah, so the backlash is pretty much just saying, you won, why do you have an issue with this? Even though I've stated a million times it was never about me, I clearly beat them, that's not my issue. The issue is that there are girls that are legitimately afraid. And they should not have to be afraid when they're seasoned competitors going into this. Like, they've done this hundreds of times. They know what they're doing. And the girls I've talked to that also experienced this said they have never felt so unsafe in a grappling match. Hmm. Well, absolutely. I mean, this is uh, full contact uh, physical battle and uh, male bodies have such a significant advantage. Controversial author J.K. Rowling also weighed in, defending the right to free speech against trans competitors. Also, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling said this about you. She said, you've done nothing wrong. This isn't and never was about hate. It's about fairness and safety for women and girls. You stood up to protect your fellow athletes, which makes you a heroine in all sane people's eyes. I know backlashes aren't fun, believe me, I know, but there are things far more important than pleasing all the people all the time, all power to you. That's uh, quite an endorsement there, Ansley. That honestly meant the world to me as like a lifelong Harry Potter fan and it's not something I ever expected. I never expected this to even go viral. I posted just trying to kind of get the situation out there, but I never expected it to be this big. But the support over the hate has been amazing. And I just have to look at the people that are endorsing me in this and know that I'm on the right side of history. Sky News All-Star Piers Morgan exposed the bias in powerlifting after speaking to a woman who was stood down from competing after she spoke out against trans athletes in the sport. Well, April, first of all, I'm appalled that you've been suspended. And I'm even more appalled that you've been suspended for stating what appears to be a simple fact. You were talking about the fact that a biological male who identifies now as a woman and is a trans athlete um, was getting an unfair advantage because of their physiology over you. For stating the bleeding obvious, you're the one now who can't compete. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I guess saying uh, truth and fact, calling uh, Andres a biological male is considered hate speech and goes against their social media um, code. Um, when talking about sports, Pierce, you would know this, you have to state what the person is. So I, I was actually thinking I was being polite saying a biological male um, and I was in fact saying the truth. So uh, bodies play sports, not identities. So when we're talking about sports, especially powerlifting, a strength sport, you need to say, call a man a man, call a woman a woman. Sky News All-Star Liz Stora also revealed backlash from parents at a school where a biological boy competed in athletics against biological girls and shot up the rankings. Just recently, this week, another case of a biological boy competing in girls sports was gracing the newspapers. Here's the Daily Mail headline. This fellow had ranked 172nd as a guy, but now competing as a girl, he ranks fourth in the state. Here's some footage of him competing at the girls 5K cross-country competition. So guy, running in a girls race, imagine how you'd feel as a parent, imagine how you'd feel as one of the other competitors who's trained for this and whose college future could depend on where you place in this race. It goes on and on and on. Supreme Court, do something about it. US soccer star Megan Rapino also lashed out, saying trans players should be allowed to play in the national soccer team. 
Piers Morgan called this hypocritical. Yeah, I mean, you know, I saw Megan Rapino, the football player, soccer, of course, over in America, um, who has just retired. And right at the moment of her retirement, she said, oh, what I'd really want is to see trans uh, women playing in the uh, US women's national soccer team, which is great because it means her plays won't get taken. And my response would be, OK, so what happens if Lionel Messi, who's playing in the MLS in America, what happens if he decides to identify as a woman? A, he can, if he wants to. B, there'd be no law against him prohibiting him from playing for the American women's national team. Is that the way we're going to go? Where Lionel Messi suddenly says, I'm a woman, and breaks even more records, but makes it irrevocably impossible for an actual woman to compete. Um, that is where this is going if we're not very careful, isn't it? And doctors are warning the obsession with using non-offensive language to discuss transgender issues sets a dangerous precedent. It seems ridiculous, but the question is more if it's outright mental illness, just raise all these uh, you know, ethical, difficult questions. And there's no way a surgeon would do something like this. Like, they'd be struck off, you know, like it'd be outrageous. And you're exactly right, yet when it comes to transgenderism, it's seen as like a perfectly logical, legitimate thing to do when it should be equally as controversial and contested and at times outright ridiculous um, to consider this.